By this point, you'll all know that I live in the UK. And anybody that knows anything about the UK, anybody that genuinely knows about the UK, can say one thing. It is, like a lot of Europe, a country with a relatively high cost of living. It's not cheap to have a nice life here in the UK, and it's getting more and more expensive. Now, I bring that up because I think that is reflected in the UK culture. Everyone wants to have a decent life for themselves. Everyone wants them and their family to have a decent life. And why wouldn't you? Because of how expensive it is to do that here in the UK, it's not uncommon, and it's not uncommon because I know many people who do this, many people, students and actually adults as well, who are full-time workers. And when I say full-time, I don't mean 40. I mean 40 is your starting hours. You might be working 60. You might be working 70, sometimes even 80. I know people who work 12-hour shifts six days a week. That's not a good thing. Might be a good thing for the wallet, might be a good thing for the bank balance, but ultimately it is going to affect the way you're feeling yourself. And I think with how hard it is for most people to make money, it affects the culture and the vibe of a place. I see this in these people and I understand it. For me, I've had a pretty chilled day, right? I think I've had about £350 worth of sales on eBay today. If you want to learn how to do that yourself, you can find the link in the description to my Patreon. But that's not the point. My point is, everyone who knows, knows that I run my own business. And my own business is. That makes life very different for me. Your average person doesn't have the insight, maybe. Doesn't have the time to even think about it. How depressed they walk around. And that's such a shame. Money and money culture is destroying our countries. And what I say our countries, I mean richer countries, or perhaps what you may call them nowadays, as a lot of people in one of my videos commented, not necessarily richer countries, but more expensive countries. I think a lot of it starts with the way that, the way that society is set up and the way that the messages of society are set up. And what I mean by that is, I'm turning into 21 this year, right? The big milestone, even for myself. But it's like, you come to a point, you're expected to have a house or a property that you can live in by yourself, even if it's a flat share. So let's say I was living with my parents and my family, right? I'd be expected to then move out of my house share with my actual family to go live with some people that I don't know who could be anyone. If I'm not doing that, I'm not cool. I'm not trendy, right? So if, that wasn't, so if I'm not that, I'm falling behind. I don't think it's a new thing, but people have always kind of been seen to, cool to, ha to be cool to have a car. That's fine. And of course, disposable income, right? Everyone wants that. These birds are being very noisy this afternoon. But this is my point, right? You're expected to have all of these things. And that makes you a someone, apparently. Or at least that's the message. But as I said, to have all these things, you've got to work so very hard. You're in a perpetual state of work. It's a challenge for most people. And it's one that, it's a system that they can't beat. Now, if you ask me, the sensible answer would be to think for yourself and think, actually, like I say, if I can't afford my own flat for one or a flat for me and my girlfriend or something like that, the sensible answer is to stay living with your family and pay half the rent and the rent goes to, and you know, with the money that you save, you and your family can have a nice little life. Pay one rent amongst five people that you know versus five rents amongst five people that you don't know. It makes no sense. Things like don't buy a car if you don't need it. Things like don't buy those expensive shoes because there's no point in your price range. But people don't do that and therefore the culture, I think, is influenced around money. It comes from money in the first place. So people, due to the assets that they're told that they want to own, whether they do or do not, that was not a very good camera angle, people, whether they want to or not, are, are in a lifestyle where their choice or, or, their, or their worth, their perceived worth, is based on how much money they can bring in. What that has created, like I say, is an idea to live in this weird lifestyle that doesn't work for most people. They'd be much happier doing things their own way. But I think this is how we are ruining our society. Now, straight up comes the amount of work. Like I say, I know 20, 21, 22, 23, even 17 year olds who are working full time in their, in their young years, right? 21, 23, still young. They're working full time. Some of them that I know are working six days a week. Why? So they can have this and that. What's gonna happen? They're gonna have no time for their friends. They've been, like I say, told that they don't wanna live with their family, so they got no family to live with. They're gonna find, find it hard to socialize with people. And that creates 
a very depressing a, a very depressing atmosphere. Naturally, due to being rushed off their feet, the people that I know that work the longest are usually the most upset or the most depressed or the most unhappy. But it's not just the work that gets them in this place. It's the fact they've got no time. And they've got no time because they're always chasing after the next asset whether they know it or not. They're not looking for different solutions. It's making them actually poorer. Because yeah, I'm sure, if, you know, if you're working 12 hours a day and, you're, and you only get paid £10, £120 pounds a day, not bad. Do that six hours, um, no, six days a week and you are not earning a small amount of money. But at what cost? You're not able to keep up with your friends. You're not able to go on the holidays that you want. You're not able to do this because you're always working. I've said it before and I'll say it again now. I think in countries like the UK and the US, corporate culture has very cleverly been intertwined with culture not everybody has the know-how to make money on the internet which is why i've actually launched my patreon but just glossing over that point right if you don't know about this sort of stuff or you can't do it or you don't want to do it your only option is to work hard if you want to have that cool car to fit in or if you want to have them super cool shoes or this nice place you're chasing after a lifestyle and because you're chasing after that lifestyle and you don't have a way to earn it for yourself not 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 without sacrificing a lot of your life you get to a point in these countries where people are working all the time. It's a brilliant trick. Let's move that. It's a brilliant trick from businesses because you've basically got slaves at that point. People who work till the end, always chasing after the materialistic goods. And like I say, a culture, if you ask me, because I said that the culture is being ruined, right? What is a culture? A culture is how you live. It's how you act. It's what you do with your time, who you spend your time with, where you go, what you see, that sort of stuff, right? But it's like a lot of people nowadays don't have a culture. And what I mean by that is, is, is wake up, go to work, come home, sleep, maybe watch some Netflix. Wake up, next morning, work, sleep. Wake up, work, sleep. You don't have a culture. You don't have a culture. You've got the corporate culture that you've been told to have because you need to earn your money. And you've got these meaningless materialistic assets which you probably don't even care about yourself. That's now your culture. I think that is where we get to this point, right? Yes, the cost of living in the UK, for example, is going up. It's gone up. It's expensive, right? You go out for food, very expensive. And you will need to earn more money to do it. Whether that's doing something like I do, making money yourself, or whether that's going to work more. But what I'm saying is this, right? Here in the UK, and I'm, I know the same is true for a lot of rich countries, it's always about fitting in. Most people, and I swear this is statistically proven, It's not if it's not most, it's nearly half of all. So which is basically almost most. Nearly half of all people, I think, and I'll, if I can, provide some sort of a link aspire to be a millionaire i aspire to be a millionaire why is that well i, I want to build a business that comes with that i don't want to have a million pounds in my account just because i want a million pounds i want to have my name in business i want to have all this sort of stuff right but if you want a million just for a million that's an arbitrary figure that means nothing you're chasing the lifestyle you're chasing the money but we could be living here not just in the uk anywhere in the world a lot more of a chilled back lifestyle in my video where I spoke about people leaving places like the UK to go to cheaper nations, a lot of people said it's number one issue. For others, it was not different things for different people, right? But a lot of people said that is a big issue. The lifestyle here is hectic. You're always in work. You've got no time to chill. Everything's stressful. Rents are high. But your costs could be cut, like I say, if you made the decisions that you cared about. Even for myself, sometimes it's like, right, I'm not going out with my friends to this place because I'm saving the money or I'm doing the extra work. That's going to get me ahead in life. It's going to get me out of this trap. Like I say, just think about how much you have to work to afford these nice things. And then how nice are they really? Are you giving your life away for a car? Are you giving your life away for a pair of shoes? Are you going to look back when you're an old person and think, yeah, 20, 21, 22, 23, I worked hard, six days a week, but what did I get for it? Uh, well, I got a pair of shoes. And if you're investing like that, chances are 
you'll still be working six days a week when you are old. Just a thought, like I say, I don't know if you guys are going to agree. I don't necessarily mind if you don't. These are just opinion related videos, but that's my view, right? And I think people say it's all of these different things that are, that are killing culture in, in our part of the world. I think the biggest thing is the fact we don't get the ability to embrace any culture anymore apart from corporate culture and that's irrespective of what country you're in what country you're from what culture you're from let's do, what nation you're from you can work in an office anywhere in the world and that is how they want it because think about it for a company all you are is a unit of labor that's all you are you're just someone to cite to file the papers flip the burgers whatever it is that's your that's all you are to them in most companies nowadays they don't care so what I'm saying here is, just be aware of it, right? Have a think about what you're doing for your money, and how hard you have to work for it. That's all I'd say. People may disagree, people may not. I want to know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you, and I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.